Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at dropping unguided bombs with CCRP technique. That's constantly computed release point. And we're going to show as it is now in early access. We expect it to change, but we'll show as it is in October 2019 without using a target pod. So we've already done a video, a comprehensive video of explaining all about all the different bombs, all of the SMS set settings. That's done in the CCIP unguided video so we're just going to go straight on arm up and get set up to use ccrp we're going to drop 12 mark 82 500 pound slick bombs arm them up stand by well, i'd usually set the bombs up in the air but just to make the video easy we're going to set it up we're going to set up here so master arm on we're going to go air to ground here if we're not already in the sms page we should make sure we are in the sms page we're going to check that all our bombs here that is 12 times mark 82 slick they are ready the system is ready we're going to use profile one we're going to drop one bomb at a time instead of pairs we've got a convoy of 25 vehicles out there and we've calculated that if we cover each of us 1400 feet worth of ripple bombing we're going to ripple these out all 12 of them then if we drop them with 105 feet between them enter and we ripple all 12 of them so 12 release pulses like that then we should be able to take the whole convoy between myself and rc so 24 bombs in total we're going to have just uh, i think just nose tail today fusing make sure that we are on ccrp so click in here that's our set setup on profile one and the only other thing i want to point out is that if we're going to have an air to ground loadout like this and or if we're having fuel tanks then we have to have our stores combi set to cat 3 otherwise our flyby wire won't be set up suitably for carrying these weapons and we can cause damage to our aircraft so cat 3 if you've got air to ground ordnance we're going to take off now find a target and we'll show you how we designate the target and then we go and drop the bomb we found the targets they're out here just on that road you probably won't be able to see them at the moment but what i can say is that at the moment in early access if we haven't got a targeting pod, we do need to have a waypoint in the area to be able to designate this target. So we currently have a waypoint out there. You can see, once we've selected our air to ground and our CCRP, our waypoint diamond turns into this, the target designator. And the good thing is we can now move that from our HUD. We could also do it from the TGP if we wanted. I'm going to show you the, bu the buttons that we're going to be using. So to move this, we're going to use RDR, radar cursor up, down, left and right. You can also use the similar in the axis controls there. To drop the bomb, we're going to press and hold, weapon release, depress. So what I want to do is move that target designator over to the target. So I use the keys that we showed earlier. Okay, I'll see. There's a long line of targets. If I take the first kind of half, can you take the second half? Yep. Now, the way this is going to work is we want to place the target designator in the middle of where our ripple of bombs are going to go. That's just how it works. So I'm going to get a little closer to the target and we're going to go for a sighting run and then come back for the actual bomb run. OK, I'm going to move mine to get the first view. So that's in the middle of where my half wants to be. What we're going to do now is I'm going to turn around so I can go in for my actual bomb run. For the bomb run profile, you can do, to be honest, more or less whatever you want in CCRP. High altitude, medium altitude, low altitude. You can do it in a dive or you can do it in level. Technically, you can even do it when ascending, although I don't know why you'd ever want to do that. We're gonna do it in level just to show that you can. And we're gonna release our ripple of 12, relatively low level, not too low. Bearing in mind, we've got sticks here today. So probably a thousand feet, absolute minimum, 1500 feet, a bit more sensible. I'm going to head out to sea now and then come in for a charge on the waypoint. Sorry, I mean the target designator. If we were using a dive technique, I would suggest diving from at least 6,000 feet AGL at 450 knots at a dive angle of about 20 degrees. And you can use our pitch indicator here or pitch ladder to get the 20 degrees. For our level bombing, also about 450 knots seems to be optimal. Okay, I'm turning in now. I want to come in right down the column of target, so it's ideal to turn in now. I'll get on target and then I'll pause and explain the HUD symbology. Right, let's pause there. So, as ever, this is our flight path marker here. This shows where we are actually traveling at the moment. This shows that our master arm is currently turned on. This shows that our method of aiming is CCRP, which is obviously correct. This is our timer until release. So, 
With CCRP, we do not decide when the bomb drops. The onboard weapon control system decides that. And it's telling us that at current parameters, it'll be 46 seconds until the drop. Next is our range. Our range from us to the target. It is 9.2 miles, and that's calculated with Foxtrot. That means it's our fire control radar that is currently calculating that slant range. Next is our steering line. This is our steering line. It's there to tell us what azimuth we should fly on. All we've got to do is fly so that our path marker here is perfectly centered on our steering line here, which is easier said than done. Then when our timer here gets down to five to six seconds, although because we're doing a big ripple, I'm actually going to go a few seconds. I'll do about 10 seconds. We press and hold the weapon release button. We do not release that button after that until we are sure that all bombs are dropped. We will know bombs are dropped in a ripple when our FPM, our flight path marker, starts flashing. The way that it'll work is a few seconds before the bombs are due to drop, our solution queue here will start to drop down to give us a warning when the bombs are about to release. When the steering queue meets the flight path marker here, the bombs will begin to drop. Or if it's a single bomb, then it will just drop at that point. Once we're sure all bombs have dropped, then we can pull off target and get away. Okay, so we're going to unpause and we're going to get that done now. So watch the timer down in the bottom right and the range decrease. I'm going to adjust left because I want to make sure I come on directly on the correct course line here. Then I will rejoin with the steering queue. 450 knots, about one and a half thousand feet, certainly no lower. Hopefully the wind won't play too much part in this. 30 seconds still drop. We'd usually put in our countermeasure, a cycle here, um, a program of counter flares, just in case there are IR sounds, but we're not going to do that today. 18 seconds to go. Preparing to press and hold, weapon release. Ever so slightly left, but we should, should be okay. Okay, leveling out now, on speed now. Press and release, weapon release. Wait for the queue to come down. Bombs out, holding. Go on, babies. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I was just off to the side. I would have killed loads. That's so frustrating. Oh, we've got a few. I think we've got a few. We've got a little bit of splash damage. So I was slightly off to the side there, and that was because I didn't keep well enough to my steering line here. And as well as that, my target designator was actually slightly off to the side, so that was my fault. I just didn't get it quite accurate enough. Right, you go in for your run and do the same thing to the rest of them, RC. Wait one minute out. Good show. Good calling. Good calling. Oh, yours are on target, look. Much better, RC. Bum, 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 bum. Good work. Yeah, you got, I think you got multiple shacks in there by the looks of it. Nice. So that shows how to drop a ripple of bombs using the CCRP. So the one thing, without the teapot, to show is that you do need a steering point or a waypoint in the rough area of the target to be able to move it to it and be careful because it's hard to get that steering point uh, sorry that target designator perfectly accurate on the vehicles it may be better to use an axis rather than binary commands i hope that helps and see you later